All right, I'm doing a quick review of the Berkeley Finisher. I got the seven here and I also have the five. I was out on Lake Normandy this morning. It's a smaller lake just south of Nashville. Um, just wanted to give it a go. I'd picked it up about three weeks ago from Omnia. Big fan of Berkeley. I like using their products. I got the Stunna. Big fan of the Stunna. It's kind of comparison. Looks very similar to the Stunna, like as far as the materials used. It's about half the length. Um, then the five's even smaller than that, but I thought the seven was probably the best size. So that's to give you a kind of a visual of what it is. It's definitely pretty heavy, um, a lot heavier than I had thought, which was a good thing and a bad thing, I feel like. Um, but overall, it's good bait, um, a lot better than I had expected, like I said. But um, I'd say it falls quick. You can snipe them pretty easily from 50 to 70 foot. If you see them, you can hit them pretty much on the nose every single time with this one. Um, I had the most success uh, when they were in schools of two to six, probably. I couldn't really get the individual fish to react at all. I don't know why that is. It could have been lake specific, could have been the weather. I don't know. Um, I tried it around some bridge pilings and then some long tapering points. I had a decent three and a half pound spot hooked on the back hook on a bridge piling. He got off and I got him on video. I'll play that now. I'd say 90% of these are all crappie. You can see it's starting to rain, but some spots mixed in there and I can drop them right on their heads. That was a pretty good spot. I had him back hooked. Didn't have the net out. I should have went down and grabbed him, but that was about three and a half pounder. That was fun though. And then I put the GoPro away, um, and then I went on to some long tapering points. And uh, that lake's got a pretty big school that doesn't really move out there, so um, I caught couple maybe seven before the lightning started um, just trying to get a feel for it um, I'd say live scope picks it up great um, have no problem seeing it even the five um, I, I, I only have the 93 SV paired with the LVS 32 uh, on AGM battery so it's not like I have the best live scope set up in the world um, and it picked it up fine um, I had no problem seeing it my um, I think I was on 69% uh, for the gain so yeah, no problems there. Um, it falls a lot quicker than I had thought. It feels almost like a jig and wrap if you've ever seen those for walleye. You, you walleye guys know what I'm talking about, the ice fishing bait. Um, that's what it feels like in your hand, but it's obviously not as aggressive as a jig and wrap, but that's the best way to explain what it feels like um, from what I can tell. But I could see this being a great bait for places like Smith, Norman, um, Hartwell, places where they're chasing bait around and they're kind of hard to, to hit using like, you know, a classic uh, live scope bait. I think these would ex definitely excel with those um, where you can see them and they're moving 100 miles an hour. You got to hit them right on the head and you can kind of flutter it um, right past them. I think that would work great. I know two years ago I was on Lake Norman um, and they were out in the ditches um, by the docks and they were moving pretty quick and I was throwing a net rig at them and that was pretty effective honestly because they got down there quick but I mean something like this um, I could see working well in that scenario and then on Smith Lake I think the smaller one would do great especially this color um, for the specific bait that's in there so I think that's its strengths definitely 20 to 40 foot is where this one excelled anything under 15 um, I felt like this was not the bait for that specific scenario. Um, like I said, it goes down there pretty quick. Um, 20 and under, I would definitely be throwing one of these, but anything 20 and up, if they're individual schools of twos and threes moving quick, the finisher um, all day would be 
what I would be looking for. Um, so yeah, that's its strengths. 40, 20, 30 foot, that's its strengths. Um, weaknesses, I would say anything with grass, uh, vegetation at all, like on Lake Gunnersville. I don't know if you'd be able to throw this much on Lake Gunnersville uh, with the floating eelgrass. Um, even up north in Minnesota, the milfoil and coontail. Curly pond leaf, ah, this would not fare well with that. I also don't think this would fare well in brush piles. Um, I know in middle Tennessee here, a lot of these lakes are heavily brush pile lakes and I didn't even, I didn't even try it today. I only have two of them, so I didn't even wanna, I didn't even wanna chance it on the brush piles because I was fishing the bridge pilings and I got cut up a couple times. So um, I wouldn't try it around brush piles yet. Maybe I'm missing the boat on something, but uh, brush piles for me and that would not be a good mix but yeah um good bait no complaints but yeah that's gonna wrap up this review guys um again here's just comparison to the stunna just the best bait i can show to compare that's pretty popular uh, i'm gonna do hopefully another review on this in a couple months after i get some more fish on it um maybe an update Hope to go to Percy Priest here in Nashville soon. Um, catch some smallmouth on it. So that'll be interesting. I also did pick up the power switch. Uh, I got the bigger size and the smaller size. So I'm gonna do a review on that as well. I've probably made 10 casts of the power switch. Uh, been more focused on the finisher, trying to get that dialed in. Um, but yeah, that's all that is for the finisher. Uh, let me know if there's any other bait you guys wanna see. I'll get out on one of the Nashville lakes around here and try it out. So thanks.